this video is going to be a bit different I decided to do it because in recent times I've been getting a lot of messages on my Facebook business page from persons who are diabetic and they have been asking me to recommend medicinal plants for diabetes now I am not a medical doctor but my mother is a retired specialist registered nurse and part of her role when she was in active service was health promotion and education plus she has always had an interest in alternative medicine and she has been practicing it for years however she doesn't wish to be on camera but she has assisted me with compiling the information for this video now this video is just for educational purposes so you will still need to speak to your doctor about how to manage your diabetes with that said let us get right into the video All vegetables are beneficial to diabetics, but there are certain vegetables that are very good for diabetics. And these vegetables are string beans, parsley, cucumber, celery, watercress, broccoli, lettuce, onion and garlic now string beans parsley cucumber celery watercress lettuce and broccoli can be used to make your smoothies or juices but it's best that you do not mix more than two or three ingredients at one time to allow for better absorption you can add a bit of onion and garlic to your smoothies or juices but use the garlic sparingly because it can be harsh on the stomach plus garlic has several medicinal properties which could interact with prescribed drugs these vegetables can also be steamed or had raw as well String beans and garlic can be used to make tea. Cucumber contains a hormone that is needed by the cells of the pancreas to make insulin. Onion and garlic contain natural hormones that are beneficial to diabetics. String bean Pod tea is especially good for diabetics because it is a natural substitute for insulin. String bean skin is rich in silica and certain hormone substances that are closely related to insulin. Broccoli is rich in chromium which is excellent for controlling blood sugar. Other vegetables can be added to the diet, but the ones mentioned are extremely useful to diabetics. Based on research, the following medicinal plants and spices are useful to diabetics. Aloe vera is one of the plants and for this plant you can use the pulp of the aloe vera to make a smoothie or you can take the supplements. The next plant is guava and for this one you can take the leaves and use them to make a tea 
This tea has compounds that can inhibit the absorption of certain types of sugar so that sugar levels don't spike after you have your meals. There's also cinnamon and ginger as well. For your ginger, you can take it by using the powder or freshly chopped ginger root and just sprinkle it on your raw or cooked food. You can also take the supplements or you can brew ginger tea. Bitter melon is also good and based on research and you take it in the form of its seeds, blended vegetable pulp, juice or supplements, it can help to reduce blood sugar levels. Lemongrass can be used to make tea, which is also effective at reducing blood glucose as well. Cactus leaves of tuna and nopal cactus contain a large amount of natural organic insulin and these cactus pads can be eaten raw or cooked. Mango leaves can also be used because they can improve insulin production and there are various studies that have highlighted the benefits of mango leaves in managing diabetes by lowering blood sugar levels and for this one a tea can be made from the leaves. The next plant is Spanish needle. Spanish needle extracts and compounds have demonstrated anti-diabetic activities and studies suggest that it can be used as a remedy for diabetes. A tea can be made from the plant and consumed. Guinea hen weed is another medicinal plant that has been found effective in helping to lower blood sugar levels a tea can also be made from the plant and consumed. Leaf of life plant has been found to have anti-diabetic properties and the juice extract is used to help manage diabetes. Fruits are generally good for diabetics because they don't require insulin for digestion. But fruits with a high fructose level should be eaten in moderation because too much can increase your blood sugar. So for example, naysberries, bananas, and mangoes. Carbohydrates are very necessary for diabetics, but they should be unrefined, natural, and slow digesting. So for example, things like oatmeal, corn, dasheen, sweet potato, and plantain, for example. And um, it's important to watch your portion size. The recommended fat for diabetics is fat found in things like avocado, nuts, salmon, seeds, and healthy oils like olive oil and coconut oil but even though these are good for diabetics too much can spike blood sugar levels avoid fried foods and use cooking methods like baking grilling and the steaming for example.
it's best to minimize your consumption of animal protein but if you choose to have it it's best to trim the fat and only eat the lean parts avoid overeating it is best to have four to five small meals daily as opposed to two large meals exercise is good because it can help to speed up metabolism and this will reduce the need for insulin exercise is actually the next most important thing apart from dietary considerations so you can do things like swimming jogging cycling or any other aerobic activity diabetics should try to manage all mental and nervous stressors as much as possible because diabetes and stress aren't friends diabetics should have a lot of water and it should be mineralized water with chromium and other trace minerals so for example you can find this in spring water this is essential for effective glucose utilization and research shows that chromium and manganese are important for diabetics diabetics are prone to circulatory problems as well so water naturally keeps their blood flowing If you're diabetic, then you should see your medical doctor regularly so that he or she can see how well you have been managing your blood sugar. To correct advanced diabetes through nutritional and herbal means can take a very long time. However, with milder cases of diabetes, the response time is usually within a shorter period.